This is video number three. And I want to start this video off by explaining the difference between uh, a tribunal of inquiry, which is actually the proper name for it, is a statutory judicial public inquiry. Um, but we all would know these inquiries as tribunals. And the best example to give on a tribunal was the uh, Donegal Garda corruption case. Um, which was called the Morris Tribunal. And you have many other tribunals that have been established, which people can Google and find out uh, what a tribunal of inquiry is actually all about. Secondly, you have a high court litigation where you will sue the state or someone else um, for compensation. And then you have... Uh, Judicial reviews and judicial reviews are a mechanism to challenge uh, most of the time to challenge legislation and that is what we are trying to do. We are going to try and challenge IS465 which is the defective concrete, uh, defective concrete block standard that was invented by the Irish government when they appointed the National Standards Authority of Ireland to come up with this defective concrete standard so that there would be a protocol for testing properties in Donegal and Mayo. But it's an Irish standard and that's what it states before it. Now, the biggest problem we have as homeowners and property owners is this testing protocol because the people of Donegal are restricted to MICA only. When in fact we should be testing for all deleterious materials. And the, the government never envisaged or Donegal County Council who have played a key role in the development of IS465. Never envisaged that a laboratory like Petrol Lab in the UK would identify visually reactive iron sulfate minerals which are actually the cause of the structural defects. Now based on that we class the Irish standard as flawed, fraudulent and not fit for purpose because the people of Donegal are restricted to make it only. So we feel that we're entitled as citizens of this country to challenge the legislators who created this standard in the first place. And the only way that we can do that is by way of judicial review and put our scientific evidence against the evidence that the government uh, created so they could, they could establish this Irish standard for testing properties in Donegal and Mio. Now, that is the focus that we have. We wish to challenge IS465 and its legality. But also, SI25, which is the statutory instrument, which we all know as the 9010 scheme, which has now been replaced by the enhanced scheme, restricts us, if we enter the grant scheme, to testing for MICA only in the 9010 scheme. And we are now being further restricted in the enhanced scheme with a building condition assessment that means that we have to pass, pass a damage threshold to get into the enhanced scheme if the building condition assessment states, states that the cracks and the other issues are severe enough for us to be able to get into the grant scheme. And there's still no guarantee <clears throat> no guarantee that the housing agency will forensically test our properties for what they should be testing our properties for. Now, I will go into more detail in the next video concerning the issues with IS465 and SI25 um, and why we are going to attempt to take a judicial review in the public interest, challenging the government's decision to bring about an unworkable scheme 
um, because we feel the number one issue here is we must get the correct engineering solution first before we actually get the 100% redress. So on that, I'll leave that video, video number three, um, and watch out for the next video. Thank you.